One of the most important parts of any solar PV installation is making off the MC4 connectors correctly. Get it wrong and it can cause devastating consequences. Let's join Gary on his own solar project, where he has a vested interest in the quality of these connections. And make sure you stick around to see what can happen when these types of connectors fail, which is sure to add another level of panic to Gary's day. So I'm going to get a chance up close and personal to see an MC4 connector made off. Can you just explain the bits I've got in front of me, Sean? Yep, so this is a positive and this is a negative okay. connector. All right, and then we just use the required tools in order to make those two connections. Yep. And you've got a little bit of cable. We're not doing it on the roof because obviously I'm going to have to balance up there with a the harness and the camera. So our glamorous assistant over here is going to hold some of our stuff as well. So first thing. Our strippers. Okay. Those dedicated solar strippers. Well, there must be a required length for that. Is that just because you've made so many of them off, you just grab that length straight away? Yeah. Just, okay, we'll so. No. Yeah, so there's a, a certain length for that. And then we're going to do, which one do you do first for me? Uh, we'll do the positive. Okay, positive one. So the easiest way of doing these, yeah, because they're quite fiddly. Um, or potentially, sometimes these that might actually be live as well. I've got a feeling this bit. And, okay. So obviously we, we're used to crimping tools. What sizes do they do? Uh, Two point five, four, and six mil. Okay, makes so logical sense. Four yeah. mil cable. Yeah. So we want to get all of our strands. Ah, right. Okay. So we don't want any of those loose strands. Hole, make sure there's nothing sticking out the back. And then then we go with a crimp. Well, that's a significant crimp as well, isn't it? It is. Okay, so there we go. So we've made that crimp off. Now, I'm thinking here in the real world, obviously we're missing the rest of it. So would we be sliding it from the opposite end, which would be no. really tricky in the real world? So we can undo this. Okay. Loosens off. Oh, that is not, I bet that's got many a person out of a, a pickle. Slips over. Okay. And then wait for the click. Let's wait for a bit of, oh, it'll be your wrist or fingers. Oh, yeah. Okay. So <laughs> there we go. So that's, that's in. Is it nestled in position? So that's that. Okay. So that's finger tight. And then we've got the spanners which we use just okay. to make sure to make those just off swapping these. ip rated yep okay even though it's sitting underneath the actual solar panels it's still going to have a chance of getting wet so these are specially designed are they yeah so ones on the back so you've got grooves which sit on the back of the okay yeah thing, and then go into the middle and then we'll just give it a little twist and wait for the click okay so that so that, that click that was a is, good click that is tight ah right so okay it's probably made off so we've got that one done. That so one. yeah, I'll take it similar process for the other end, but let's make the other one end off because there's something quite unique about them, obviously, when they go together as well, isn't it? Uh, yeah. When we're thinking about connecting two things together. So again, you know the length, which is great. Four mil string, could have been six. We're using six on the installation we're here at. And we're gonna make off the other end, so yeah. Yeah, also when you're making these off on the roof, it's quite I was just, tricky. I was it's, just it's, gonna say Normally that. drop the pin. Yeah, so tend a few, few spares, so in we go again. there. Ooh, pressure's on, Sean. Yeah. <laughs> you, you lost one. Not like a coax, you're going to have a poor TV. There you go. Okay, so we're in. That's in. It's a significant crimp, isn't it? It's great. Yeah. And again, so what I said before, which is nice, and it? Obviously, if it had to go on first, you'd have been in the struggle. Let's see if we can hear this click this time. Ah, yeah, I heard it that time. Well, it was your knuckles. <laughs> So hand tight again. again, and we just hear that clicking sound once again so to know we're we're so properly so tight. A slipping sound. All oh, right, okay, so, yeah, yeah, that was easy. Yeah, and now when you bring them together, obviously this is off the actual roof, but we bring them together. There's something uh, so, quite yeah, so significant yeah, well, now, isn't there? One end will be coming out, so our PV Ultra cable yep. on one end, and then our panel. Yeah. So this would be would these be different colours for us? Uh, yeah. Yeah. So, so we'd have on one the roof. We got red and red and white. white because we're using PV Ultra. But obviously these are both black, aren't they? So again, oh, we've got those two black connections for us. But this is going to go together. I heard a click again. Your click. Okay. So how would I actually get that undone? So there's a specialist tool which separates these pins. Then you put it apart. Okay. So it couldn't accidentally separate, which makes logical no, sense. I mean, yeah. I mean, I'm giving that a good, yeah, good tug, and you can't get them apart. And if it was to make a gap or creep apart because you didn't have that what would be created between the positive and negative terminals uh you get an arc yeah between yeah. Uh, and yeah that's sort of common if they, these aren't made off properly that's one of the most common causes of fires okay and it's a significant arc as well isn't it yeah it won't it, do, yeah, it doesn't stop no <laughs> okay so <laughs> especially it's told in order to part those out and that was an easy process you made it look easy it looks like you do it for a living sean yes 